Yo, still feels what's the day? Zill, man. Yo, I'm about to go pick up my daughter, man. Um, man, this social media is a motherfucker, man. Niggas get real tough online, man. I'm the same individual on social media that I am in person, man. I don't like confrontation. Um, I'm not a violent man. I'm way too mild manner for that. But some motherfuckers just got to get checked, man. And I pray to the most high, whatever it is that y'all believe in. I don't even know what I believe in, but I know it's some sort of divine intervention out there. And I pray that she or he one day grants me the opportunity to come across anybody who didn't have something slick to say on Facebook. So we can have that. We can just have that face to face. It ain't even got to get to a level of violence. I just want to see if you really, if you really like that. I really want to see that. But peep game, man. I want to, um, we got to talk about this Andre situation, man. Um, I, at this point, I don't think it can be, uh, you know, argued or and ignored that, you know, homie that kind of did the Heisman Trophy pose over uh, Johnny Beck, man. Um, it, it just, it, we can't ignore it, man. Uh, I get, you know, wanting to move up to 168 or whatever the case may be. I got to just strictly for a fight with Canelo, man. But that should have been moves you should have been making long ago. As soon as the, as soon as Canelo jumped up, all right, cool, I'm on your ass. So I'm jumping up. It should have been like that, man. I don't really want to hear him. I, I'm not. I, I don't really want to hear him talking about. I got bigger fish to fry. I ain't getting no younger. I, ain't, you know, I'm jumping up and all that shit. When you didn't have, you know, you didn't jump up last year and you fought two mandatories last year. You fought two mandatories, bro. And Johnny Beck was one of your mandos. He was one of your mandos. So um, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it, man. And I, I don't even think this is a fight that's way out of, you know, re out of out of out of the realm of possibility of you winning. Because I think you can win this fight. Because I think you're that talented. But I also think he could win the fight. That's what makes the fight such a compelling fight. And everybody keeps talking about how, oh man, if he beat, if he goes in there and he he beat Johnny Beck, they ain't gonna say nothing. But he beat a bum and he did. That's not true because there's more people clamoring to watch this fight than those who aren't. I come across, you know, there's there's Andre fans on YouTube who are like, yo, man, he ducking. He got to get that drama. He got to go and get that. They're saying that. I'm not the biggest Andre fan. I'd be lying if I said I would. Like, he, I think he's a dope fighter, though. I, I wouldn't say that I'm a super fan of his. I'm, I'm not. If his fight is on, I'm watching it. Believe that. Because I like him as a fighter. But I'm not, like, over the hills. Like, yo, man, Andre is that nigga. Because I, I, just, I, I, just I just don't, you know, perceive him as that. But he's definitely nice with it. <laughs> But that's what makes this fight such a compelling fight, man. And the fact that you just refuse to fight him, you jump back down trying to get that fight with Chris Eubank Jr. And that just kind of like you, 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 you pleaded with him. You know what I'm saying? You kind of put your heart out there. You wore your heart on that sleeve in that video, and the music and everything, the melancholy behind it. It was just like, yo, bro, this is kind of, this is borderline thirst trapping. <laughs> this is borderline thirst trapping, man. So. I just, I just, I'm like, yo, I get it. You got bigger fish to fry. I'm not mad at it. You want fighters with higher profiles. I'm not mad at it. It's understandable. It definitely is understandable. But at this point, you have yet to get that. So why not get that with the fighter like a Johnny Beck? Because you got to think, you ain't traveling abroad like that. Well, I mean, you, you fought in other countries and everything, but you know, your fan base is going to be in your home country. And Johnny Beck has been making his bones over here on this soil. So why not get in there and run that shit with him? Get in there, do what it is you got to do. We're going to be the ones that sing in your praises if you win that fight. If you lose that fight in a close competitive fight, you just lost that fight in a close competitive fight. You dig? But I think um, it's a little too late for you to be talking about, you know, I got bigger fish to fry. You've been had bigger fish to fry. Let's just keep that shit a stack. You've been had that. You've been had bigger fish to fry. You just didn't want to fry them. You did not want to fry them. God damn it. I'll put it right here. Oh, yeah, I'm good money. <laughs> I'm good money. <laughs> but um 
you've been had bigger fish to fry, man. Um, you just didn't want to fry them. You had no intentions on fighting. No, but you, you know, you chased Golovkin, you chased Charlo, you chased um, Munguia, you chased all these people. But what happens when they don't want to give you that work? You know, you can't force somebody to oblige you, man. You, you, you just can't do it. You just you cannot do it. And at this point, they didn't, they did not want to oblige you. So go to those who's gonna oblige you. Johnny Beck is one, is the dude who was willing to oblige you. You didn't want to, you, you didn't want to run that with him. You don't want to run it with him, man. You don't want to run it with him. And it's understandable. That's why I say, you know, it's a strategic duck. You know, it's bigger fish to fry, but you know, look at who it is you got to go through with Zach Parker. That's not a guarantee that you win that fight. And Zach Parker is relatively unknown. And he's acclimated to the 168 pound division. And he's a good fighter. Like, what are we doing, man? Who's this? And I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be the negative Nancy. That's not what I'm trying to do here. But it's just certain, it's certain things we just have to um, take into consideration. And this is one of those things that we got to take into consideration, man. Um, I think you should have stayed at 160 and just at least got that work because that would have, that right there would have definitely boosted your profile. And I'm not saying by much, but to the hardcores, that would have definitely put like, oh yeah, Andre is that nigga. That definitely would have been that. That definitely would have been a better bargaining chip at beating Johnny Beck than going up and fighting Zach Parker and possibly losing. Even though Zach Parker puts you in a better position as far as Canelo is concerned, it does. But it's not a for you know, you're acclimated to 160 pounds. You've been there for years. You one of the dudes in that division. You're not one of the dudes at 68. You just you're not. You're not one of the dudes at 68. You know, so now it's kind of like you're starting over again. Like, what if the ends don't justify the means? You know, without that belt, you're not really nobody is checking for you like that. You just got to call a spade a spade, bro. You was fighting on a Thursday at one point in time. My nigga, like, I don't see how people don't remember that. And this is after you was a champion. You dig me? Like, we, uh, we got to think, we got to keep shit in perspective, man. And um, that's just something that you're not necessarily doing, man. You don't, you know, you don't, there's certain things you're not prioritizing, man. You was prioritizing a fight with Mungia and Charlo and Golovkin, but... If you can't get them, it's like Canelo, you know, with Canelo, you know, who 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 else is next? Who else is next? We wouldn't have been mad at a Toriano Johnson fight. We wouldn't have been mad at that. We wouldn't have been mad at that at all. Could we at least get a, you know, a Spike O'Sullivan or something like that? Could we have gotten, um... I don't know, what's Shorty doing right here? Could we have gotten... You know, could we have gotten something? You're like, Jesus Christ, dude. Could we have gotten the Carlos Adamez? Could y'all have found a way to get him up off the PBC island and, and, and get him and, and sign him with this? Could we have done something like that? You dig? I, did you go? I, I'm not so sure if you went after Rio de Murata. Did you go after Murata? I don't remember hearing y'all two names swirling around in the mix. I, I don't remember that. I don't remember that at all. You were just fixated on Charlo Golovkin and... um. Uh, uh, Mongia, you were fixated on him, and because of that, you know, you here you are, here you are. So, I really hope the Zach Parker fight works out in your favor. I hope you win the fight, and that puts you in closer proximity with getting the Canelo belt. But this definitely looks bad on you, man, because you, you this looks bad. Believe you me, this looks bad. This is not a good look. You vacating the belt. That was the best thing that you, your name doesn't... Your name doesn't bring value to a fight like that. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. Outside of the hardcores. You being a champion, I think, is what you... you just, let's say you, you know, you you just become a, a, um, a formidable foe at 168 pounds. You win, or you lose, you win, you win, you lose, you win, you lose, you win, you win, you lose... It's like, all right, cool. Like, what else? You know, cool. All right, yeah. Demetrius Andre, you become another name in the division. Not one of the upper echelon. 
And that's what I think you're going to, you know, if, of course, you don't beat Zach Parker. If, because I'm not saying that you're going to lose, but I just, I, I really, what is this lady doing? I just, I, I just really want to provide context to the situation, man. And um, I do think you should have went on ahead and got that Johnny Beck fight. I just, I think that was a, that was a really good fight for you. That was a good test for you, even though he would. You would be testing him. You haven't fought anybody as skilled and as sharp as Johnny Beck. That would have been a very solid win for you. And I, I really hope this Zach Parker fight really works in your favor. Because if it doesn't, oh my God. Oh my God. So, that's pretty much all I got to say about it, man. Um not a good look i'm not the, i'm not happy about it but i understand it so deuces